So what is your vision for the future of this project? We need somebody out there to give us some <laughs> <laughs> So we can put it out in a larger space. <laughs> So, and she wrote a book about it, 
I think it's on Amazon too about how you know there's 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 another side of Marcus Garvey that people don't know about, but obviously it's like you know people want to bring down heroes, but at the same time you know there's no proof necessarily one or the other. It's also interesting to note that the FBI didn't really bring charges against them on that. Um, I thought it was interesting because like they had an airtight case for mail fraud, but it would have been a lot harder for them to try to push a murder case. And, and, and I think the similar. Let me just answer that. Right, but I think the similarity uh, to that is, is the same thing with the assassination of Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. you, you had the same kind of similar situation. Uh, a lot of people from the UNIA have come from prison and have joined the union. They were hardcore gangster uh, life. Same thing with the Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. And uh, the same way uh, the Nation of Islam felt about Malcolm X. I mean, about Honorable Elijah Muhammad, anybody speaking, uh, talking about uh, uh, him, uh, uh, would be similar to Eason speaking and talking about Officer Scott. So he, I, I don't, I never, I don't ever think it's in the proof that he was directly gave the word to kill this man, but it was understood, just like, uh, I'm, I'm just getting with my personal that the same way the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was connected to the uh, assassination of Malcolm X without actually pulling the trigger or giving the word. I think we had the same similar situation in Marcus Garvey. Because you had some people that were serious in love with what the UNIA it was. I think that's a great similarity between the UNIA and the Nation of Islam. Thank you. In that and also Malcolm X's parents were Garveyites. And in fact, that letter writing campaign that they talked about, that was run by Malcolm X's father. Well, that's interesting because some of the, the speeches sounded very much like Malcolm X talking. <coughs> he probably, you know, borrowed some of the language. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's just one, two, three, and then we have to stop. This is more of a than a question, but I do think it was interesting how the passion about racial intolerance swung the pendulum all the way to the point where he could meet the KKK and say, we kind of share the same philosophy, but we want racial purity. And we, so it was like kind of jarring, you know? And I'm wondering how you, what you thought about that. Well, once again, the same similarity with the nation is. In the UNI, because of Malcolm X, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they also met with the KKK, similar to the, for the same reason. You know, they, uh, uh, they felt that they had a similarity in the purpose of uh, the race mix. And Marcus Garvey also believed that the KKK was the real underlying government of America. Oh. Because there, there are thousands of organizations that they were able to dismantle or you know, crumble, but the KKK is still here. And there are also thousands of uh, black people in the KKK mm -hmm. at that time. Joe Augustus Rogers actually wrote a book. Um, it's called Ku Klux Spirit. Mm -hmm. And he talks about how there were a lot of uh, African-American members in the KKK. Uh, <laughs> 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 I want to read that. <laughs> so my question was for Mr. Johnson. Uh, when you're writing, like a historical piece, it's very different than a fictional piece. So I was wondering what the challenges are in that, and I guess what advice you would give to other writers if they were going to try and write a historical piece. I'll uh, be sure of uh, um, being true to the, uh, to the message of the individual that you write, uh, especially an important individual like uh, Marcus Dunn or Malcolm I think that's the main thing. And, um, and I think that's the main challenge, too, because uh, uh, I, I think uh, a lot of people have, they feel that they can 